Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have bad main bearings or crankshaft bearings? If you have bad main bearings, that means your engine is done and it's time for a rebuild. How do you know for sure that you have bad main bearings before spending all that money to either replace the engine or to rebuild the engine. You're probably wondering what are the purpose of the main bearing and where are the main bearings located. The purpose of the main bearing is to support the crankshaft and also to allow the crankshaft to spin freely. Now the uh, main bearing is located on the top end of the journal and the bottom end of the journal. So you're going to see main bearings on the top end of the journal. So basically right here is going to be the journal, 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 and journal, and journal. And there's one main bearing on top of it. And you lift up the crankshaft. You're also going to see main bearings over here as well. These main bearings are extremely durable. They can handle extreme load. They can handle high engine temperature and they can handle all sorts of poor conditions. Now, if the main bearing gives out, that means something is extremely wrong for these main bearings to fail. On a typical main bearing construction, there's going to be either three or four layers of different materials. For a three layer main bearing material, it's going to consist of the steel backing, the center is going to be maybe aluminum alloy and on the other side is going to be lead, tin and copper. On a four layer main bearing is going to consist of steel, copper, the next one I believe is going to be nickel and the last one is going to be lead, tin and maybe copper again. The type of materials that are being used is going to depend on the manufacturer that is making these main bearings. By now you're probably wondering what are the symptoms of bad main bearings. Usually it takes a while for main bearings to completely fail and the first sign that you know that the main bearing is most likely on its way out is when you notice medical particles inside the engine oil. When you change your engine oil and you notice shiny metallic uh, dust like of metal particles it's going to be caused by worn steel on the main bearings you're going to notice this when you're draining the engine oil you're going to notice these shiny metal particles floating inside the dirty engine oil you're also going to notice when you remove the oil filter as well as mentioned earlier there are three or four layers of material for a typical main bearing if you see that shiny metal, metallic, uh, dust-like particles floating inside the uh, dirty engine oil, that's going to be the still part. Now, if you start to see copper sheen or copper uh, dust-like particles inside the uh, engine oil, that means that second layer is starting to wear out. And when that happens, you're going to experience engine failure pretty soon. The next symptom is going to be excessive noise on the bottom end of the engine. You're going to hear some sort of noise coming from the bottom end of the engine and most likely you're going to hear some sort of rattling noise. When these uh, main bearings become worn, they start to be more clearance and they can start to rattle on the uh, journals. So when the crankshaft is spinning, you're going to hear that rattling noise. and when the crankshaft is spinning faster, in other words, RPM is increasing and this is going faster, this noise will start to get louder as engine RPM increases. The next symptom is going to be low oil pressure. Oil pressure is created when engine oil is getting a squeeze between the uh, main bearings and all the engine bearings such as the camshaft bearing, rod bearings, main bearings, and so on. 
So when the um, clearance starts to increase between the main bearings and the journal, there's going to be lesser squeezing of the uh, engine oil and that's going to cause low oil pressure. So if you notice low oil pressure, rattling noise on the bottom end of the engine block and you're seeing copper sheen or shiny medical particles inside the dirty engine oil, that's a very good indication that the uh, main bearings may be failing. The next symptom is going to be strong vibration from the engine. So you know that the main bearings support the crankshaft. But what happens when the crankshaft no longer have that support from worn uh, main bearings? What's going to happen is when the crankshaft is rotating and spinning, it's going to be out of balance. And when it's out of balance, it's going to cause a very strong vibration. So again, when the main bearings are worn, the crankshaft can start to kind of like move like that. And again, you're going to notice strong engine vibration. If you decide to disassemble your engine to inspect the uh, main bearings, what you want to look for is scores on the main bearings. If it looks completely scored, that means the main bearings are worn. If you see that, if you can see um, copper, on the main bearings that mean the first layer of the steels the steel are already worn and that mean the main bearings are bad so when the main bearings become bad it can damage the uh, crankshaft journal it can start to score the crankshaft journal and the crankshaft journal needs to be resurfaced or the crank whole entire crankshaft needs to be replaced if you have deep grooves on the crankshaft journal caused by a completely uh, failed main bearings, you cannot resurface the uh, uh, crankshaft. You must replace the whole entire crankshaft. However, if you see just minor scratches on the crankshaft journal, you can actually um, use sandpaper and try to resurface it that way. Also, if you're going to um, resurface the crankshaft journal, make sure to use a bigger size uh, main bearing. That way, it can take up the, um, the extra clearance that's caused by resurfacing the crankshaft journal. Also, when replacing the main bearing, make sure to use fresh agent oil prior to installing the main bearing. You can also use white lithium grease as well. I have used um, fresh engine oil and white lithium grease. And sometimes I also use WD-40 and tell the truth, they all work perfectly fine as long these bearings are properly lubricated. You're probably wondering what caused the main bearing to fail and how you can prevent it. And the answer is very simple. As long as you can prevent contamination from getting to the uh, main bearings, this will definitely help extend the life of the main bearing. So all you, you need to do is just change your engine oil and your oil filter on time. In addition to that, another reason why the main bearing fell is going to be lack of lubrication. So if the, the if the uh, main bearings do not have proper lubrication caused by extremely low engine oil, again, this is going to cause increased friction and that's going to cause the main bearing to prematurely fail. Here are some questions that probably some of you guys are going to ask me and that is, how long can you drive with bad main bearings? And the answer is, not that long. Once you start to hear that rattling noise and you start to get low uh, oil pressure and you see that medical particles floating inside the dirty engine oil your engine probably won't even last a thousand miles it may just give out maybe in a hundred miles or so so when the uh, main bearings completely fell this can actually cause your crankshaft to seize and when the crankshaft stops spinning this is going to cause a 
total engine failure. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.